The chief pharmacist, see him here. That's the chief pharmacist. Introduce himself here, somebody here. Uh, chief pharmacist, we want a report from you as to why we don't have trust in our facilities. And now it's not you to go and sit with your team members in, in the sub county hospitals and the various areas that are supposed to be receiving drugs. Come up on a report on the challenges you have so that we move forward. Give us why we don't have drugs in those hospitals. And we listen to you and see the challenges and come up together with our CC Shetra to see how we can help the health sector to have our people get medicine as required and as their right to service in government facilities. That will help us, ladies and gentlemen, to move forward. So I've talked so much about health because I know that it is a very key sector in our economy. But I'm promising CC here together with your team that we will work so hard to even get more budget to that health. I know last year we had a bit of problem in health because the legislature or the assembly were not ashamed to cut the budget for health and shift the budget to road. My question was, why do we need to cut the budget and go to road? Why do we need to starve health and improve on roads? Do we want to transport corpses using the roads? Which is our priority. I'm not saying roads is bad, but I'm saying we need to put more attention to health as we move forward. My calling for the workers of Korea is one. Be in your desk, in your office, as early as 8 a.m. Hours, hours. And stay until break, take a break, until lunch to go for lunch. Don't be in the office until then you go for whiskey. Then we'll have a bit of a problem there. We want to protect and do you good, but also good to the people of Kenya. My appeal is that let's work within the working hours and deliver our service with loyalty and fidelity to the people of Kenya. I've said I'm not coming to have a problem with anyone. But I also want to announce that if you, have, if you have a problem, I'll get rid of you the fastest. But if you do what you're supposed to do, government will do what supposed to do. Work on your salary, work on your promotion, work on your leaves, work on what is supposed to be done. And I've seen here, Madam, from the HR, we need to sit down and work out these things together so that we're able to have these guys do good for us and the people of Kericho. I know you have been in contract and you have been asking yourself, is Mutai coming to circus? On the contrary, I'm coming to make your work better. I have talked with Unilever and I have talked with James Finlay. They have been recruiting security people from walls unknown. They don't even speak our local dialect. And that is why we have aggression from the local community. And I have told them we have 800 strong men that was trained by Professor Jeff Boyd. We want you to observe them before you go for people outside the Africa. And so you will see yourself working in other places, those who have been employed, those who are with us, the public service board will sit down together and be able to come up with a way that will see you also, you know, getting on permanent personable time and begin to have a decent life because you are a father and you are a mother and you have children that you ought to take care of. And you are going to walk that direction together. I will support the governor. I will support the governor. Na kama kuna kama kuna kama kuna mtu nilikosea ninaomba msamaha Kama kuna mtu alinikosea nimemsamehe That is the spirit